Let's see how to solve the difficult exponential equation. First, we notice that x cannot be zero because if x equals zero, you see the left side becomes zero to the power of one, which is zero, but the right side, one. They are not equal. Now, let's rewrite the left side using exponent rule. So we get x to the power of x squared plus 1 over x to the power of 2x. The right side, 2x plus 1. Both sides multiply by x to the power of 2x. So we get x to the power of x squared plus 1 equals 2x plus 1 times x to the power of 2x. A key step here would be to multiply both sides by x. So we get x times, we break this exponent to two exponents. So we get x to the power of 1 times x to the power of x squared, the right side, 2x plus 1, x to the power of 2x and then times x, right? Then we can write the left side as x squared times x to the power x squared. The right side, 2x plus 1 times x to the power 2x plus 1. Do you notice some symmetry? x squared, x squared. 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, right? So if x squared equals 2x plus 1, if x squared equals 2x plus 1, you will see the x must be a solution of the resulting equation. Therefore, it is also be the solution of the given equation. To find these solutions, simply we solve the quadratic equation. Let's go. Both sides subtract 2x minus 1, so we get x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. And then we use quadratic formula, so we get x equals negative b, which is 2 plus minus square root of b squared, so negative 2 squared minus 4ac. So 4 times 1 times negative 1 divided by 2 times 1. So we see that's 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 4, 8 over 2. We know square root 8 is 2 times square root 2. Cancel 2, finally we get 1 plus or minus square root of 2. So we get two solutions to the given equation. But does he have any other solutions? I don't know.